Scorpios. Good morning. Good morning, guys. I missed you guys. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, and I am back. Peace, love, and light to you guys. I hope you guys had a great weekend. So this is going to be a channel message reading. I don't know for sure what is going to come out, guys. So, of course, only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoy the reading. Of course, if you are a cross-watcher for a Scorpio, of course, switch the roles as necessary. Only apply the information to your unique situation, okay? Um, like I was standing on a community board, guys, I felt like I needed to take care of my mental health. So I wanted to take some time off. Of course, I've been running back to back with my readings on both channels. So I needed to take a moment and just breathe for a moment. You know, I have to make sure my mental health is okay. Not only for myself and my children, and of course, you guys. Okay. So <clears throat> even though I was going to be gone for at least a week, but something in my spirit just told me to come back online today and uh, bring you guys some more channel messages. Okay. All right, babes, let's get started. All right, let's see. Where do I want to start for you guys? Hmm. Let's see. All right, so we're going to do some oracle messages first. All right. Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me in this reading for the collective. Please protect my energy, mind, body, and spirit as I channel the messages for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is going on within the spiritual realm for Scorpios? What is it that they're needing to know? Okay. All right. What is the message for Scorpios, spirit? Okay. We have the number nine, material harvest. All right. And we also have number 16, which is disruption. That is the tower energy. The nine, material harvest is um, the nine of pentacles. I feel like some of you guys are going to be very, very abundant with that material harvest. I feel like you guys are in that nine of pentacles energy where you're going to be reaping the fruits of your own labor. Single, independent. There's a lot of uh, success coming your way. Abundance. This is possibly going to shock you out of nowhere with the disruption card. Or for some of you, this may come as a prosperity or abundance in your life after a period of going through some type of tower moment, financial failure, a failed relationship. This could be anything that was torn down, okay? We also have the number 19, which is light. Hmm. Some of you guys are in the spotlight. I feel like there's a light that's shining down on you guys as well. I'm getting that you guys are star seeds. But I really feel like this wealth and this abundance and prosperity, enjoying the fruits of your own labor, this is going to be a shock to some of you. Some of you guys could have been born on the 19th, the 16th, or the 9th, possibly the 7th or 10th of November. But I see that you guys are going to be shining bright. I see a lot of stars here. So you guys are really going to be in the spotlight, be noticed. Some of you guys could be in the entertainment business. The spotlight is on you. Yeah. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more for Scorpio. Yeah, a lot of you guys, it's going to be shocking that maybe the world is going to see you more. The light is going to be shining on to you. Oh, wow. Look at there. This is you, guys. Transformation, the death card, Scorpio energy. Some of you guys could have been born on the 13th. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are transforming into this beautiful blood of butterfly coming out of the darkness. You're transforming your energy. I also sense that spirit is now shining this light on you. It's your time to shine is what I just heard. It's your time to shine. I feel like some of you guys with that disruption you went through or you will be going through some type of spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. And you're transforming. You're working on yourself so you can become this beautiful star seed where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor here. Yeah, look at there, number seven. Stand your ground. Spirit is calling for you guys to stand up for yourself, protect your energy. Yeah, once you go through this transformation, 
you're leaving the darkness behind and you're stepping into the light. So I do see light here as well. So you're coming out of the darkness into the light. You're transforming. And of course, keep in mind as Scorpios, we rise from the Phoenix. So no matter what we go through, we always rise from our ashes and we come out better than we ever been before. We are a very transformative sign. So no one is like us in the Zodiac sign. We can transform just like that with any situation. Yeah. All right. So let's get some clarity on this. Okay. Let's get a little bit more energy. Let's see. Hmm. This is beautiful, Scorpios. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, some of you guys are going into your winter season. Your abundance is coming in so heavy because of the fact you went through this transformation. Or this is you transforming out of your old self into your new self. And things are just changing. The spotlight is on you. I feel like Spirit is really shining this light on you since you went through this transformation. Wow. Wow. Tell me about the material harvest. Well, actually, let's see more. What else you want them to know, Spirit? I will clarify the material harvest with a different deck, but let me do Oracle. Tell us more for Scorpio. Let's get some Oracle cards here. Thank you. Wow, look at there. I told you guys, you're going to be successful. Success. And then we also have surrender. Yeah, that surrender falls under this uh, disruption and this transformation. So yeah, a lot of you guys, I'm telling you, I see that someone here is going through a transformation. Surrender. I can release my need to control. So a lot of you guys, you're obviously giving your life to the most high you're surrendering to people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Possibly with that disruption card, what I'm getting, because that is Scorpio energy here. So you guys are standing out in this reading. Um, Whatever this tower moment was <clears throat> that happened in your life, whether it was a fair relationship, a failed marriage, a lot of drama, chaos, there was a relationship that everything just fell apart, or there was something that you were into that I feel like spirit in the universe had to step in. And break it down because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. Now, at this point, you guys are surrendering to the most high. You're giving it up. You're allowing God to step into your life and step into the situation. With that success card falling right up under material harvest. Yeah, I see that a lot of you guys, you're about to enjoy the fruits of your own labor. With success, this talks about, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, I feel like you guys are pouring back into yourself. Things are coming to you. Fruitful energy is coming to you. You are abundant in so many ways. Success is coming your way. Be grateful. Show gratitude to the universe once this prosperity and abundance comes to your life. I'm, I'm feeling like you guys are more at peace as well. Tell me more. Thank you. All right, so we have three cards here. All right, so we have honesty, okay? And we also have purpose. Yes, yes, Scorpio. You're realizing who you are, your purpose and growth. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you guys are stepping your game up. I Look at there, and stand your ground. Patience and planning is here. Yeah, you standing up for yourself. Oh my gosh, you guys are investing into yourselves. You guys have developed so much growth within yourselves. With that growth card, it talks about, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And I really sense this. This is why you guys are going through the transformation. You're leaving the old person behind and you're stepping into the light. And that's why light is here. You're growing as an individual. You're understanding your purpose here in this earthly realm. Purpose. That's why it's a fall up under transformation. Well, actually, growth and purpose fall together on the transformation because during this transformation period, it's kind of like a butterfly learning how to fly, coming out of the cocoon. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful, guys. With purpose, it talks about, I know what I am here to do. You guys are stepping into the light. You're understanding your purpose on this earth to be an earth angel, to help others, to give back to your community, 
to serve God, to be a healing energy. You're growing. Your awareness is so high. This is giving me the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords energy. You receive some type of download, mental clarity on, and understanding who you are as an individual, what you're supposed to do here on this earth. You're transforming, you're transmuting your energy. And with honesty falling up under light, honesty talks about, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. Yeah, honesty. You guys are being honest with yourself. You're being honest. You're surrendering the release of control. You're gaining your purpose. And what are you supposed to do? You gain that information and you gain that clarity from the most high to be able to grow into this beautiful butterfly that you guys, I know that you're meant to be. And look at there at the bottom of the deck, self-esteem. Your self-esteem is even growing. Self-esteem talks about, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah. You guys are star seeds. You are star seeds. You're planning out of your life. You're planning out your life. You're being patient with yourself. You're investing into yourself. You're standing up for who you believe that you are. You're understanding your purpose on this earth. You're transmuting into the beautiful butterfly. Your ancestors, your spirit guides is watching you grow. Is watching that growth come upon you. Mind, body, and spirit. You are aligning yourself with your seven chakras. Grinding your energy. Controlling your sexual urges. Believing in yourself. Having that self-confidence. Forgiving and receiving with your heart chakra. With your throat chakra, you're speaking up for yourself. Standing your ground. With your third eye, you're starting to see things that others can't see. Your intuition is kicking in. Your crown chakra, you're connecting to the most high. But going back to the ground, which is the root chakra, the bottom of your back, you're grounding your energy. You're grounding who you are. You're being humbled. And I feel like you guys are in that humble energy. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. Oh, my goodness. Scorpios, I love this for you. I love this for you. Yeah, look at their pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. That is beautiful. Because keep in mind, guys, all of us relate in so many different ways. So I relate to you guys on different levels. It can be being a mother. I am the oldest child. I have been married before. My marriage did not work out. I had my first child at a young age. I went to college. I didn't let that stop me. I graduated high school, went to college and graduated college. I went through mental health issues. I went through depression, anxiety. I went through fear. I had fair relationships at the fair relationships. But I had to get out of the energy and I had to stand up for myself. I had to invest into myself. I had to transform my energy and connect to the most high. I had to understand what my purpose was on this earthly realm. I had to grow into the divine feminine that I stand for now. I had to surrender to God and release any control, anything that's out of my control. I had to surrender to God as well. Now, I'm pouring back into myself so I can be successful. I had the tower moment in my life as well, disruption. I had some shit shake up in my life as well. Now, I stepped into the light. Yeah. Now, I am enjoying my material harvest. I'm single, independent, doing my own thing, enjoying the fruits of my own labor from the most high. I deserve that. It was time for me to step into my power. So, guys, I relate to you on so many different levels. Yeah. But I didn't let anything stop me. I transform. I shut off that dead skin and now I have new skin. Yeah. My self-esteem has risen. Yeah. I love myself just like I love everyone else. And I see myself and you guys every day. I've been patient with myself and I planned out my future. I planned out what I wanted to do. Yeah. 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 All right, Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. Of course, I will be back to bring you guys some more general reading. I'm going to end it right there. Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio family. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.